Now, I'm going to write a story about an actor. The story begins with the actor and his girlfriend. They seem to be getting on well enough when I popped a question, and she said yes. I could have been dead. Ben, look, you hate me. You've always hated me. That's not true. And that's why you tried to kill me. I didn't mean to push you. You're a liar. Down syndrome, people can act. And I'm proving it right here and right now. He has become an actor, which is amazing. And with hindsight, looking back, he always loved performing. So he was in little plays at nursery school and, and junior school. When he got to leave college, an acting came up within that. The theatre company heard about a training scheme at the BBC called the Talent Fund for Disabled Actors. So Tommy applied for that. And Tommy was one of only two people with learning disabilities to get on that course. It's run by the BBC and Channel 4 with the Actors' Centre. And it was brilliant. I worked for a magazine called The Talent Magazine. To begin with, after that training, I couldn't find any opportunities for Tommy even to go and audition for anything. But things are changing, and over the last two years, he's been for several auditions. Two of the storylines were actually pretty awful. The next one to come through was Coming Down the Mountain, which has a brilliant storyline, a really good storyline. Oh, die! <laughs> and the program, which I just finished filming, is about two brothers. One brother has got the and it's got the life of any normal boy. Except that it's got Down syndrome. Obviously if you've got um, a learning difficulty of some kind, there are some kind of sophisticated things you maybe can't do in the way that other people can't do. But the thing that really alters your world is the way that you're treated by other people. So writing the part for Tommy, writing the character of Ben, it's less about getting Ben's voice right than, than locating him properly in that family and in the world. My first reaction when I found out that Tommy had Down syndrome, which was on the very first day, was why has God sent him to us? Which was interesting reaction. I found out I believed in God for one thing. But I also was very worried for his older brother that this would affect his life. I was aware that people were looking at him and that that made me feel kind of potentially awkward. Because I think, you know, when you're young, you don't want to be looked at anyway. You don't really want the attention. And, and I was aware that, that something was attracting it, and I think I assumed it was probably Tommy. I always thought people would look at me differently as well. But, of course, none of these things turned out to be true. Being a brother, you can just be entirely happy to let him get on with his own thing. Being a filmmaker, filming your brother, you need certain things from him, or you hope that you will get certain things from him. So at no point did I feel like I could intrude, at no point did I feel like I could manipulate. I mean, God knows the story unfolding organically was, was amazing enough. You know, don't get me wrong, this isn't an all-inclusive picture of Tommy. This is a portrait of him following his journey in these few months. 
And coincidentally, these have been very happy months where he's kind of realised his dreams. <laughs> See you? Yeah. Thanks for coming. No problem. Uh, welcome. Hi, yeah. I'm uh, Colin. That's my mum and that's my brother. This is what. Well. <laughs> so, welcome, Tommy. Thank you for coming. Hope you enjoy being with us. I'm here to talk about my life as an actor. And now I'm going to show you pictures from filming coming down the mountain. And here we are on a mountain at sunrise at seven. And you get to work at long hours. So I get up at five, I arrive at the base for breakfast, and what I, ha and what I have for breakfast is bacon, sausage, hash browns, and tomato. I think he's been he's been brilliant. We haven't had to we haven't had to adapt to fit him, which we thought we may have to. He's spot on with his lines. He connects to the material and he, think, he seems to really think about it and you know, you're able to say to him, you know, to hone him in on the emotional moment. And uh, he's really, he's brilliant actually. And he's also got great attitudes. Okay, my first week has gone very good. It's been freezing cold. It's been boiling hot. It's been stressful. And it's been no strain. But other than that, it's all good. Um, and I'm setting up my second week. All my life, I haven't been single. And now, I'm going to put a stop to that. So, I am on a one-man mission to get a girlfriend. I think filming will get me a girlfriend, one way or another. Bay and Ali, who are the makeup artists, and I say it was an absolute pleasure to work with, with you. A true pro and star. All the best for your future. Julianne is the director of the film. Julianne says, Words are not enough. Wonderful, wonderful man. Wonderful, wonderful actor. All, the, all my, my love. Reading all of this, Makes me miss them. I am going to see them again, and when it's going to be in the summer, because they're going to set a screening of the program. I think, in terms of having um, Tommy, there wasn't in the end because he is so brilliant. He's so professional. He's so brilliant with his lines. Tommy, did you want to be an actor? 
Yes. Who, who wouldn't? There was a question. Jessica Field from the Down Syndrome Association. Yes, um, Tommy, is this the first time that you've seen it finished? Or have you seen it before? Yeah. You have seen it before? No. Oh, yeah. this is the first time. What was yeah. it like watching yourself on screen for the first time? I have arrived. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading a script from Hobbit City. And where have you got that? Because I'm going down for an audition next Tuesday. Okay, the script is about Anthony. Anthony is about 20 years old. He lives with his mum. And he hasn't got a girlfriend. And this is going to make a choice about which operation he wants to have. And what I feel about Down syndrome actors is I think this should be given a chance to make themselves heard. Can you explain a bit about Down syndrome for us, just so we understand it? Down syndrome? Um, well, have you ever watched this, well, have you ever watched EastEnders? Um, okay, Billy and Honey has got a baby called Janet. Now, she's got Down syndrome, so it's me. Um, and I, I and I think that Down syndrome um, is no difference at all. I just go about life as normal, like any other kid. William Shakespeare's in Doctor Who. You know, Fraser and Paul are both trying to go out with Rosie. Yeah. George Brown. Yeah. Um, is um, Rosie's ex-fiance's brother. Blimey. And what about his tenders? Give me the first page. Dot steals a baby. Dot steals a baby. Yeah. Hey, I've got a question. If you could be any character on EastEnders, if you could join any family, what would you be? <coughs> oh, <laughs> I think I'd join the Wixers. Okay, my two dreams is to be on EastEnders and also to find a, a, a girlfriend. Tommy is a good actor. It's an amazing thing to be able to say about your child, I think, particularly when there hasn't been any acting in the immediate family. He can learn lines and he takes directions and remembers. 
He also loves to, to learn lines and then improvise just a little bit, so to the part. He's really in the part and making it his own. I'll just do a part in Hobbit City. Being in Hobbit City is a bit nerve-wracking and working at an on top of the Kinza. And the reason why is that I fancy, fancy, fancy Kinza. Cast. Ah, no. Ah, that is in the olden days. Um, yeah. That's the um, old Yosunda set. 22 years ago, that was there. Very pleased to meet you. How's it been so far? Um, good. <laughs> <laughs> you were really looking forward to working with him, aren't you, Tommy? <laughs> when, when do you start? Is it tomorrow? Yep. Wicked. Yeah. Hello. Hello. This is what we'll be doing. Hello. Oh, that's where I start. Just the nose, look, look, the nose. This was made on Friday, so we can actually check that to you. Yeah, yeah. Let's put that on you. So. Oh. Look, hey, oh, cool. That's nice. <laughs> you know, they've been talking to you about what your character is and all the, all the kind of symptoms you've had. I think you were meant to be, you're pretending to be ill from a child, aren't you? Yeah. So, which nurse would you prefer, do you think? Um, Faye. Faye, she is very nice, isn't she? She'd have to look after you very well, wouldn't she? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. So, if you're very, very ill, you see, you, if you act very, very ill, she'll have to look after you even more. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be oh, good, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh. well, you, you know where, where the um, exit is, if you want to run off on us, but I don't think you'll run away from us. Uh, I might run away with Patsy. Or you might. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, lots of the guys Thank around you. here would like to run away with Patsy. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. That's all right. Yeah. I think you're going to be very comfortable here. In fact, we might not be able to get rid of you now. We just tuck you in for the night. <laughs> <laughs> with Patsy. Oh, I see. All right. <laughs> Perhaps the reason there aren't uh, many scripts decent scripts for, for, for people with learning disabilities is because uh, if you start from the perspective of, of, of the disability as opposed to the character, uh, you may never be able to achieve, get back that, that sense of character which has to be at the heart of, of, of anything, any, any decent piece of writing. Let's do it through once and then we'll see how we can learn. Okay. I'm going to get a place of my own. Have you got a place of your own? I share with three other nurses. I've got a friend too, sir. Always someone to go down the pub with. Clubbing. Someone to have your supper with. What about your boyfriend? I haven't got one. I haven't got a girlfriend. One day, eh? For both of us. Hope so. You've got a grown man with, with you know, all the desires and hopes and aspirations of any 21-year-old man, i.e. He wanted to be independent, he wants to have a girlfriend, you know, so you can, it's a, an everyman story, you know, absolutely anyone can relate to that. It's a story of someone leaving home, you know, gaining independence. I brought first to go for a pen shelter. Are you asking me? I'm going to go for a pen shelter. Where are you Because that's the other nice thing I think about Anthony is, is, is uh, you know, he'll say what he thinks, you know. So, so often you, 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 you either don't have a character like that or, or the rule is people don't say what they think, you know. So you've got a character who's, who sort of says what he thinks, you know. And a lovely smile, you know. <laughs> and, uh, and I think Maria genuinely, gen genuinely likes him, you know. They're, they're not going to go out, they're not going to be together because, uh, 
you know, life isn't full of happy endings like that. Uh, I don't know who Anthony's going to end up with, but I think he's a catch. <laughs> All right, please stand by then for this, please. And action. I'm going to get past on my own. Have a yoga press over your own. Where I share with three other nurses. Okay, that's right. My brother, I'm going to get You need to put on. You know the scenes from the other day? What's that? Claire? Excellent. Tommy. You, look, you look really good there, there Tommy. Uh, that's the place where you, know, you um, sign in. We're in my bedroom. Um, and in it is a Gosland poster. I'm in the calendar. Um, got plenty of tapes, plenty of books, plenty of CDs. What kind of books do you read? Books. Um, I normally read biographies and autobiographies. Ooh, what have you read recently? Um, the book that I'm reading now is Freddie Flintoff. So you do want to carry on acting? Yeah. What kind of jobs do you hope will come? Um, probably present my own TV pro um, programme. You've got your own TV programme? Yep. What kind of thing? Okay. The, okay. the thing that people hate most is Gunge. How would you make a show out of Gunge? I'd probably give myself a few Gunge tanks. A few Gunge tanks? Yes. Yes. And yeah. who would be inside the tanks? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> The people who would not like to get into it would be you, Dad, Mum, Cardiac, um, and I think the people who would go in them would be, um, yeah, Gareth it out. <laughs> Anyone else? Um, Angelica Bell. What about uh, Patsy Kensit? Oh god, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> I think I'll quit. Mad for all and all for fun. How did I get into acting? I first learned to act at Blue Apple, which is a theatre company. I asked people around here if Tommy could join theatre companies and oh, tried to find out about Chicken Shed, which I'd heard about, which is in North London and any other theatre companies like that. They're in the Midlands or London, there was nothing down here. So I talked to one of the directors of these other companies and he said, well, set one up yourself. I thought, hmm, <laughs> I haven't ever done any acting myself. But he came down and talked to us and we set up something called Blue Apple Theatre, which is um, for people of all abilities. Tomorrow, uh, Blue Apple is putting on a two short dramas at the local hospital to celebrate Learning Disability Week and try to wear, raise awareness of good and bad practice in the way you treat people with learning disabilities when they go into hospital. Blue Apple's been so busy recently that many of the other actors really felt they needed a rest. So I'm so grateful to Tommy and James for filling in and taking the key roles. And I just hope we're going to pull off a good persuasive performance. Thank you very much. Hmm. What team do you support? Saints. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> um, a story of an actor. 
Anyway, I'm writing about me and my life and the rest of my future. I don't think Joseph's enjoying it very much. Go for an ice cream after. Anthony, ice cream after. Nick a bucket, good eye. We'll get that. That's muscle. This is Nugent. It's good to see you again. Uh, this is Miss Lane. Hello. And this is Anthony. So, you excited? Yeah. First time in hobby. You're going to be famous, mate. The main risk for you is that it works. And then you stop coming in. And the nurses don't see you without your clothes on. <laughs> I'm dead. We're going to change your life. Sorry, excuse me. I guess it was I'm going to get a purse of my own. Have you got a purse of your own? Oh, I share with three other nurses. I, I might share. It might be easier. What about your boyfriend? <laughs> no. I haven't got one. I haven't got a girlfriend. Oh, well, one day, eh? For both of us. I hope so. I need to teach you. It's up to you, love. Sorry, Mum. Can't. What did you think of that, man? Not bad. P.S. Hopefully, in the near future, I will have got a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs>